Ah, oh, the vendors. Hey, how you doing? Oh yeah, they're direct brother relation, right? I thought they might be brothers-in-law or something. <laughs> Poor Kurt. We have canned coffee yet? Ugh, juice and tomato water. Ugh. There's a suspense. Vicious lack of coffee. You know, games nowadays don't have enough coffee fanatics. Training room cannot be used yet. All right. Of course, the bads are your CP restoration. Now I want pancakes. Thanks, game. Oh, Jessica's from Aurora. Nice. Is this the training? Nope, this is the meeting room. Still, Major Michael, I did not expect you to pull one over on me like that. I thought you had your own selfish plans. I didn't know you were planning this. Yeah, I'm wondering what Rose has planned for us at Lake Gaia. campus is going to be doing. Well, yeah, this entire thing is just now one big campus at this point, right? Oh yeah, considering it's almost like she lost her brother again. Yeah, I didn't even really consider that, but Million was almost like... Million was as important to her as her brother was. Machias and Elliot. <clears throat> Not only that, you can wash your clothes at the same time. I saw Orbal washing machines in there. Wow, with a view of the sky, too.
Guys night. Oh, I mean, Crow's got a... Crow's got a good point. Plus, with that hair, he kind of looks like Jiraiya, and he would call, Jiraiya would call this a bonding experience. Huh. Um. Damn it, Crow. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, locker room talk, come on, we're adults now. <laughs> really? We comparing sword lengths now? This clearly isn't a dignified conversation. <laughs> That's a good point, Usus. Wow, 200 CP? Damn. Can see these showers being very useful for grinding. I was gonna say, isn't that. Yeah, that's the women's shower area. I'm not gonna touch that button. Freddy! Ooh, fishing supplies and stuff. Uh, uh, oh god. Oh god, no, please. Give me prize. <laughs> You've got good taste. What was that? The fishing spool. Nice. More difficult for fish to escape. I like those words. You can give me some money. I'm all good on fishing bait. <laughs> Come again. Hey, what can I get you today? Can't sell anything. <laughs> Magic You've got cuisine. Good taste. Ancient steak. Wow. I mean, it's a one-turn buff, but that's not bad. That's also a one-turn buff. There we are. That's <laughs> nice. Come again. Oh yeah, Stark finally gets to meet Crow. Stark's been wanting to meet Crow since uh, CS3. Well, yeah, he knew him for a while. <laughs> wow, he was the one who helped complete the ship? Damn. <laughs> yeah, Crow's pretty cool. It's really cool that Crow manages to get to see him again. Um, I had a whole speech worked out. Oof, yeah. I was gonna say, at least an alpha would do a far better job of chewing her out for that little stunt.
I remember just how cold Yusuf used to be toward almost everyone. The fact that he's so outgoing now is really cool. Wow, this is a really nice training area. Boxes of ammo everywhere. Targets. Weight training. Medical supplies. Obviously swords. I think I see a map of Erebonia, but the rest of it's too low quality for me to actually look at, which is a shame. There's a lot of medical supplies in here. I always appreciate when rooms like this are detailed relatively well. As someone who spends most of his time at Fallout 4 building detailed settlements, I appreciate when environments are detailed properly. Yeah, the other courageous had individual rooms for uh, arts and melee, where you fought training dummies essentially, but... thing is so awesome. Wow, that's nice. I mean, I don't think I can use it yet, but... Oh, I can play cards against Duvely. Time we got. Uh, you know what? Fine. Hmm, go ahead and do this. Let me make sure... I'm just gonna completely rebuild this deck, because I haven't really touched Vantage Masters in a while. So, I think... I'm still gonna use the Bard. I still like having Magic Crystals in it. And I like having one reduced card. Want two of those, two of those. One of these. Two Blixes. And one of those guys. One of these guys. One of these guys. One of those guys. And I suppose because I've got... Oh, I'll, I'll throw a couple blazes in there. I should probably go through my deck and actually build out more strategies in terms of decks, but... Fight as you would a real battle. Oh, of course she gets to go first. So what do we got? You know, that'll work. <clears throat> Oh, that's a good start. Already doing a lot of damage to me. What's this thing? Resurrect a random card for four mana, and it restores its own health. Great, that's gonna be annoying. I don't have enough mana to play another card, so I'll just play this card to protect my master, and then we're good. Oh, wonderful, it's unsealed. Great. Keep her master sealed. 
Of course, she's probably just going to unseal it again immediately. Another protecting card, I see. Damn, that's a powerful one, too. Holy hell. Normally, I would have preferred to keep that card safe, but now I can't seal that, right? Yeah, I can't seal it. Fuck. This is probably dumb. There we go. Now I can seal it. It's a little bit silly to use cards that are supposed to be meant for healing to destroy a card, but... Yep, there goes that card. And it attacks twice, wonderful. Hmm, I have an idea. I really don't, actually. Yeah, I mean, that card's literally just gonna two-shot this thing. Or it's gonna do ten damage to my master. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Unfortunately, both my healing cards are currently out. And I can't move this card. That didn't work. I don't know why I did that. That was a dumb move. You know what? Ha! Victory is mine. Yeah. Uh, let me try that again. Losing my healing cards did not help. Alright, so she literally started the exact same way she did last time, except this time I've got a Blix. Well, at least that card can't regenerate. I mean, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate that... Yep, I mean... Of the cards she could have revived, that's probably the best one for, to, for her to have revived. Now I just need the mana to play my other Blix card. Well, there goes... I absolutely hate cards that can act twice. Not only that, this card can act twice, and because it's technically a Heaven card as well, it attacks immediately. Luckily, it's got no defense, so the Blix card's enough to deal with it. Plus one HP to every card in the row. I should have moved this card back. Fuck. Which means if she draws another one of those Act Twice cards. Alright.
keep that card sealed. I can draw another Blix, or I can heal. More health for those two cards, why not? Slowly whittle her deck down. So, it's worked so far. I mean, you could have attacked the Heaven cards. The Heaven cards literally can't do anything to you. But, sure. Yeah. You're basically done at this point. I don't think she can win. She literally just played all of her cards in the hope of winning, but you're not going to win. Because these chariot cards are goddamn broken and I love them. They are chariots, right? They look like chariots to me. Hey, got a paladin. Nice. Right, is that everything to do on this level? Looks it, yes. So next level it is. All right, so all the vending machines have the same crap. Distinct lack of caffeination. Got all the shops here. Shops slash multi-purpose sector. Oh, you can read the black records as well. Do do. I want to see who I have not played at Palm yet. Oh, Princess Claudia. I have a funny feeling she's gonna rip my. Um, she's she's not gonna be nice to me. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, this may be a ship of peace, but it's a giant target as well. what he wants to check out, and who is Ayn? Oh. Oh. The f Wait, the first Dominion? He's acquainted with her? Oh. <laughs> oh, God. You went ahead and died on your debts, that's never good. <laughs> Hello! No pool? That's unfortunate. Still, I think those cat ears work very well. No, that's a bad idea! <laughs> hey! Oh, they're directly escorting the Major, okay. Oh. You know, I probably should have guessed that they would be able to evade the RMP. I should, I should have been able to guess that Major Michael would have been able to get them around that. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, poor Sydney. Shot right out of the gate. Wow, no luck. Objectively speaking, not a bad guy to look at. <laughs> Poor Sydney. Hi. Oh, oh, poor Maya. <laughs> Did you need something? Speaking of food ingredients, no one ever will sell monster ingredients, and that's upsetting to me. I literally have to grind for them. Oh, there was something else I missed. Please come again. Speaking of dishes, is there anything I'm missing? Doesn't look it. Looks like I got a full recipe book so far. Do, 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 do. Weapons. Oh, hello, Jingo. Wow, you made yourself at home. Who's a good boy? Stocking all these swords and guns. Good boy. <laughs> Ever the shrewd businesswoman, yep. Wanna buy something? Oh, you really have nothing. Buy one kitten a shell. Come on, buy some more. I got some good stuff. Oh, I need souffle pancakes to do this. What else we got? Anything specific? No, I still need that earth talisman. I have no idea where to get it. And my U materials are a little on the low side. Ooh, I can start making some of the really good gems. Like the Argem gem, the Fenrir gem. I just need a super rare Albion wolf to make that, actually. And I just need U materials to make the Odin gem. Oh my lord. Sacred Mirror is a new one. Silverthorn and Analyze? I mean, it's not really anything special, but it's new at least. Goldia. Oh, high crit rate. So it just combines hit 3 and strike 3. Nice. And of course the Sevenfold Gem. Which is your 100% impede, which is wonderful. And of course the Deuce Gem. Deuce Gem, rather. 40% EP cost reduction. Seraph is another wonderful one. Fortuna Shining and Seraphic Ring, plus all those stats in one slot, plus 50% item drop rate. It's just amazing. Which means, unfortunately, I need to get a sh super rare Seraphic Ring, Shining, and Fortuna. It can also now make Domination, which is great. No full gem. 32 speed, Jesus! I was gonna say, I've got three of those equipped, but I can make one of those pretty easily. Cutting art casting time in half is gonna be big too. And then, of course, the Hades gem. You need Night Gleam and Nightmare. I don't. Oh, Night Gleam is there, which is Cavalry Edge. Ooh, plus 12 evasion for. Esmilla's gem needs uh, evade three and move three. I can make two of those right now. Come on, buy some more. Excuse you, I've got gems to make. Oh my lord, Celine is in the party and in her human form. Okay. Okay, so I need this evade three off. Now I need another evade three off. That's probably on fee. 
So, sorry, Laura, that move three is going to have to get used. No, he doesn't have an evade three on. Who's got any evade three in the move three? There's the move three. That was on Duval Lee. Oh, Reen's got the evade three. Okay. Wanna buy something? Buy no. Trade yes. Oh, it takes two of each. Well, shit. Fair enough. Oh, and the Zeus gem exists as well, which is 12 evasion. So this just gives speed and movement as well. It also costs less than new materials, but it also takes the two of each gem, which is annoying. Now it takes an evade three. Ooh, Carnelia. What does that do? 200 strength. Takes four attack threes. Restore CP, but... Ooh, 18% crit rate. That's good. I've got plenty of strike threes to use. I just don't have the U materials. And then what do we have here? Lots and lots of health and EP. That could be good to get. Magic Evasion, that's also a good one to get. Lots of defense. Health and defense and assault points. Break damage. A lot of these are so nice and I can't get them all. Done already? Yes, I'm done already. Your shit expensive, girl. Yeah, if I can get an, another evade three on him, or if I can, yeah, if I can get a Zeus gem on him. Serious gung here, rage, Zeus gem, Esmolus gem, Leanne's kiss. Yeah, you can really spec the fuck out of Kurt. Guess I'll just go with that for now. 